Hey everyone, Karen here, and I'm here to talk to you today about enrichment tips for your cats. Um, so while you're home, you're probably noticing that your cat's probably sleeping off a lot. Um, and one great gift you can give to your cats is a more enriched environment and more ways to express their normal behaviors, um, which include hunting and pouncing and um, all of that without injuring any other animals. Um, so I'm gonna spend um, a couple of minutes giving you an overview of some of the fun enrichment toys uh, that I like to use um, and to recommend to my clients. Um, and then we'll do some short videos um, that I'll post up later on, a few, maybe one or two each day, uh, that show you how to use each of these toys and hopefully my cats will cooperate with me when I film them. So let's switch this here and I'll show you a few things. Um, this is just a plastic egg crate if you um, buy eggs. And in each of the compartments I have a little bit of food. You can also put toys in there. I cover them up with balls. Um, and the cats have to figure out how to get to the food. Um, you can use the, the nice thing about the plastic egg crates is you can also use wet food with them. Have to figure out how to get to the food. And then they have these fun balls to play with afterwards. Another fun little homemade thing is a tea bag. You can buy empty tea bags and put either treats or catnip in those. Um, toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls, tons of different things you can do with those. I'll demonstrate some of those in a future video, but I'll also post some fun links on DIY um, cat enrichment toys. So this is not by any means the most exhaustive list of um, DIY cat toys. Um, laser pointers, I'm gonna do a video about how to appropriately play with your cat with a laser pointer. Um, there's some discussion about whether or not it's, it's humane to do since your cat can't catch anything, but we'll talk about how to do that. And then these are some food dispensing toys. Um, so each one, the cat has to move in some way to get some food out that you put inside of it. This one, they, they, um, it hangs and they have to move the bell to get the food to come out. So those are fun little toys. Um, these are just good old fashioned Easter eggs. If you have some plastic Easter eggs lying around the house and you can do different things with them. You can kind of create a little shell game um, hide a toy or some, um, some food in there. Uh, and some people, yeah, you can poke a hole in them. Some people would do that, but lots of different things you can do with the plastic Easter egg. Um, Kong makes a tiny, teeny, tiny little kitty Kong. If you have a dog, you know what a Kong is. Um, but you can put some, um, of your wet food in here and you could put it inside of a, uh, another toy or just let your cat lick at it. Um, another commercial toy that's a lot of fun is this big maze. Cats can work to get the food out of the bowl, through the maze, all different kinds of things and I'll show you my cats using that in another video. And then finally Hexbug makes a couple of different toys that are nice and interactive, um, not just dormant boring toys. Um, so the hex bug, if you have kids, you've probably seen them. They move around on their own once you turn them on and they bump into things and change direction and, oh, and they fall off the table. And you can provide some fun with your, for your cats with that. And there's also a remote control mouse that hex bug makes. So that's fun too. So like I said, I can demonstrate all of these in some future videos. Um, but in the meantime, uh, spend some time with your cats, play with them, and I'll see you in a future video.